welcome to all of you good evening very good evening all of you uh hope you all are good and safe so really this time uh, we are moving from pandemic to endemic era so hope definitely we will take the offline exams after some days so according to the situation which shows uh, gradually situations are uh, very is going very smoothly so may you all are remain healthy and happy this is a really prayer for you all of you and uh, i really appreciate the school brothers uh, prakashan uh, they really giving me the opportunity uh, to present this uh, syllabus time to time this syllabus or discussing the uh, say, discussing the sample papers in front of you so uh, thank you uh, this all participants to join uh, here so in this uh, webinar definitely we will discuss the biology syllabus for the term 2 that uh, march 2022 right so here we will discuss the reduced syllabus reduced and the bifurcated syllabus for the academic year 2021 and 22 so in this way uh, i will tell you about you know that this is the you all are the uh, biology community or the fraternity so you know that there's we have a this major five units of this this is a six and seven unit we have already uh, finished in the term 1 and now this is the in the term 2 we have a three units that is unit 8 unit 9 and unit 10 jatin ji please uh, show the slides yes this is a reduce and a bifurcated syllabus and uh, that is uh, and we will discuss the latest sample cbsc uh, sample question paper for the term 2 examination which will be held on the march and april 2022 and uh, in this uh, portion some points definitely i will discuss with do uh, with you this is a chapter wise summaries or some important points and here in this portion that is uh, some uh, question bank i have selected some uh, model test paper which will definitely shows the varieties of the expected questions and uh, after that i'll tell you about the cbsc sample pay question paper which is bifurcating uh, according to the chapter wise and in this score plus book that is a five model test paper is also given which definitely will help you in the final examination uh, which is totally based on the latest cbsc sample paper question okay so next slide uh, please so in this part uh, there what will uh, this is the what will be talking about today first of all we will discuss the second term syllabus according to the bifurcated syllabus discussing the types of question format and the final details and next one is how do we as teachers help our students prepare for the upcoming second term exams so next uh in this part uh, you know that uh, in this overall uh, uh, examination total time allowed is the 2 hours in the previous we have already uh, uh, cbsc gave us the 90 minute pre exams and again there is the 35 marks of the maximum marks of this uh, exams and uh, already previous one is already 35 marks so total term 1 and total term 2 uh, in showing this is a 70 marks and questions to be uh, attempted based on the specific instruction that is already given in the question paper and term 2 is totally based on the subjective type pattern and previously we have done the objective type okay so there is the slightly change in the question papers this time so in the next uh, slide i'll tell you about this question paper reg regarding this question paper so first of all we will discuss the evaluation scheme as a, as you know this this is a chapter 8 unit chapter 9 is not coming in the biology and human well uh, this is a welfare chapter 8 and chapter 10 is coming in the chapter 8 you know that this is the human health and disease while this chapter 8 10 is microbes in human welfare and the chapter uh, this unit 9 unit 9 is a biotechnology and its application which carries the chapter 11 and 12 uh, which is having this is a 11 marks and ecology and environment this is the chapter 13 and chapter 15 and here is chapter 14 and 16 is totally deleted 
and here it, which is carries the 10 marks okay so as you know that this is a total theory marks is term one and term two is a 70 marks and practical we have already done in the previous term that is a 15 marks and next we have a practical marks of this is a 15 marks next slide in the uh, next unit this which is carrying the 14 marks so what topics we will discuss in this this is the human health and disease as you know that this is the pathogen parasites causing the human disease so many diseases are giving that is a malaria which uh, you have to uh, give the tips to the students they have to prepare the diagram on the base on the life cycle of the malaria dengue chikungunya filariasis and escherichia typhoid pneumonia and common cold I mean, BSS and a ring one. You, so you have to prepare the application based question that is on the typhoid, pneumonia, and the common cold. You can take the general question from this or the surrounding questions. They can be, it can be help uh, to the students. And uh, basic concept of the immunology vaccine, you know that this is the burning topic of this vaccination and vaccination everywhere. There is a vaccination, uh, thank God, in our country. Uh, really, we are blessed that so many people have vaccinated. So definitely, Omicron, the latest variant, is definitely has a lot of effect. So uh, now, this is a, again, that is a burning diseases. That is a cancer, HIV and AIDS. And last one is the adolescence and the drug and uh, alcohol abuse. On these topic, you can prepare again, this is an application based question. And chapter 10, that is also microbes in human welfare. Uh, in this part, we will discuss the industrial pro uh, production, sewage treatment. It, in this sewage treatment, you have to give the question on the BOD, especially and energy generation, Energy generation, you can uh, focus on the biogas topic, biogas plant topic, and this is the microbes and the biocontrol uh, agents, biofertilizers, and this is the antibiotic production and the judicious use. So next slide, that, next slide that is based on the chapter uh, unit nine, which covers the biotechnology and its application. So as you know that, uh, so next slide, please. Uh, this unit nine, uh, it is having only two uh, topic, uh, two chapters. That is a biotechnology, uh, which shows the principles and the process. And second one is biotechnology and its application. So this one is carrying the 11 marks. And next slide, please. And the next one is uh, unit 10, which is ecology and environment. So next slide, please. That is uh, ecology and environment. So this one is carrying this uh, chapter 13, which is having this uh, organism and population. In this chapter, we have to focus on the population interaction. And next one is, that is the, this is two uh, growth model. This is the exponential uh, growth. And second one is the growth uh, curve. And here is the pyramid, especially age pyramid is a very important topic. And next one is chapter 15. Again, I'm uh, repeating this chapter 14 and 16 is deleted from this unit. And uh, next one is biodiversity and its conservation. Okay, so these two chapters carries the 10 marks. And uh, can we have a next slide, please? So uh, how should the students maneuver this through the paper? They must during the reading time make their choice. Okay, so on the topics they want to write and they must create the roadmaps in their mind. So first of all, they have to utilize their reading time. And then after that, they, they can understand uh, what answer should be right in the appropriate manner. So they must create the roadmap in their mind. So as to what will be the content of their answer, they can manage their time. So basically time management is very important according to this and they must remain calm and go through the paper uh, at least twice because the whole year they are giving the online exams and they are totally focused on the this um, uh, multiple choice question on this uh, MCQ type questions. So definitely now this time we have to prepare them for the subjective part 
क्योंकि इन द फर्स्ट टर्म वी आर टोटली फोकस्ड ऑन दिस एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस और द ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप क्वेश्चंस वी वर वी वर गिविंग देम द होल प्रैक्टिस ऑफ दिस नाउ इन दिस टर्म वी हैव टू गिव देम द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ द सब्जेक्टिव पैटर्न हाउ टू राइट द आंसर ओके नाउ सब्सक्राइब टू ब्राइट ड्यूटी कोर्स एट रुपीस 1 पर डे ओनली Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of math, science, social science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Duty and avail your courses at affordable prices. So how do we prepare the students? So practice we know that this is that practice makes uh, perfect the student must be given the ample practice in all the topics so that they can spot their shortcomings on the work on them do practice of the diagrams and the graphs so uh, here is the diagrams diagrams that is based on the first one is like this is a life cycle of the plasmodium and next one is the structure of the antibody uh, body molecules and uh, is, uh, next one is that is the skeletal structure some uh, skeletal structures of the drugs basically and some graphs pie chart that is totally based on the organism and the population chapter and uh, you can uh, folk, uh, give them the practice of maximum graphs of this the organism or from the ecology chapter and uh, you have to give them the practice of the flow chart of especially the biotechnology chapter so they should also improve the improve the neatness and the speed of the writing in order to allow them to finish their paper in time i told you earlier in the previous term we were totally focused on the mcq questions or the objective type paper and now we have to give them the practice of the subjective type question how can they write the two marks question what is the limit of this how can uh, they write the appropriate answer uh, here and there uh, they don't uh, they uh, they should not write the here and there part so they totally focus the appropriate answers so here is the uh, cbsc sample paper question so that was a release by the cbsc in this academic year 2021 and 22 as you know that in this part total uh, feature is different for this and this question paper has three section and carry this 13 question in this part all the questions are compulsory first one is the section a which is having the six question which carries the two mark each and uh, section b has six question again which is carrying three mark each and section c is totally the case based study questions of the five marks each okay so in the section a which is we are having the two internal choice they can uh, take any uh, they can solve the any choice question or uh, they can choose this any choice question and the section b we are having only one internal choice so there is no other any uh, choice is given and definitely case based question is definitely having the choice so no overall overall choice is not given but only the internal choice have been provided in some question that mean uh, that is the section a or the section b and a student has to attempt only one of the alternatives in such questions okay so wherever they are necessary neat and properly labeled diagram should be drawn so can we have uh, now we are totally focus on this cbsc sample question paper so one by one we will discuss what they want to solve this so uh, or i can tell you about this is uh, some question we can uh, give them the practice on this uh, cbsc sample question paper so can we have a next slide please 
so uh, first question that is totally based from the first chapter that is the human health and disease you can see this question humans have innate immunity for the protection against the pathogen that may enter the gut along with the food what are the two barriers that protect the uh, body from such pathogen it means now this time cbsc not giving the direct question they will definitely a little bit giving the twisting question or situation based question is given in the like this this is the innate immunity or they can ask the general question aisa bhi hota hai wo general question ya direct question bhi pooch sakte the what are the two barriers the predat protects the body from the such pathogen but here is they are giving the situation then we can find out this is a physical barrier and a physiological barrier that is given in this so next slide is which is showing the again that question uh, which is showing the internal choice based question again they are giving uh, next slide please question number 2 which is given the a patient admitted in icu was diagnosed to have the suffered from the myocardial infarction and the condition coronary artery is deficit in the image below so here is totally different question this is the the general simple question they can ask the name two bioactive agent so here is the condition based again they are giving the condition based question so we have to give them the practice of the condition based question and same as there is a internal choice is given that is again this is based on this and next question question number 3 this is the uh, totally based on the structure skeletal structure of the drugs or you have to give them the question practice of the structure uh, chemical structure or the skeletal structure question number 3 so in the next slide we have a question number 3 which is totally based on the uh, chemical structure or you know that this is a skeletal structure is also given and uh, here is the chem chemical structure of the morphine and they can ask the simple property of this uh, uh, chemical structure of given uh, in the question so here is the next question you know this uh, question number 4 that is totally based on the ncert question if you can check this is the question number 11 from the micro chapter that is a slightly uh, figure is totally different otherwise that is totally given on the ncert based question so this is my request you have to uh, solve all the ncert questions for them and you have to give them the practice of the ncert question because application based question uh, come from the comes from this ncert uh, can uh, ncert chapters okay so the water samples were collected at the point a b c in the segment river near the sugar factory and tested the bod level earlier i told you this bod topic is very important so you have to give them the because children are very confusing about the bod uh, condition and what they want to ask so you can change the digits or you can change the some slight question some condition of this question or the situation of this question or you can change the diagram of this question and i told you right now this question number 11 that is given in the ncert exercise or you can take the help of the ncert exemplar they have a lot of question that is based on the application base so this question will come from the microbes and this is a very important question so can we have a next fifth question this is a fifth question and the sixth question they have the internal choice so question number 5 this is the totally based on the ecology portion this is the ecology study and area of the population a this is the thriving on the unlimited resources and showing the exponential growth and introduce the population b and c to the same area what will be the effect of the growth pattern of the population a b c when living together in the same habitat i told you you have to focus and you can give them the practice of this uh, population growth means what uh, focus on the graph structure because in the next part they can give you the some question that is based on the graph so this one is the interaction will lead to the competition this is a population interaction is a very important uh, topic in which you have to give the uh, questions of this commensalism amensalisms there is the competition between the uh, individual 
of the population A, B, and C or for the resources. Eventually, the fittest individual will survive and uh, uh, reproduce. The resources for growth will become the finite and the limiting population growth will become the realistic. So can we have a next question on the screen, please? So next question is, uh, we can take from the, this is the biodiversity. So with the decline of the population of the fig species, you know, this is the, what is the relationship between the two uh, or the, what could be the possible reason of the decline of the wasp? Once again, I'm reading this question. With the decline of the population of the fig species, and it was noticed that the population of the wasp species also started to decline. What is the relationship between the two and that they could be the possible reasons for the decline of the wasp. So here is the population of big species depend on the wasp for the pol uh, pollination and the wasp depends on the fake for the food and the uh, shelter. It means they are showing what relationship. So relationship is what that is based on the uh, plant and the pollinator. This is called the mutualism. I told you this is the population interaction is a very important topic. mutualism question so you can do this and uh, make the questions or the totally based on the application base or the situation base. Now subscribe to Bright Duty course at rupees one per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Duty and avail your courses at affordable prices. Next question, that is with the increase in the global temperature. And uh, here is a section B, which is totally uh, carrying the three marks question. And how do the normal? Here is CBSC giving how to write the answer. So they are giving the answer. So you can check this. There is a totally appropriate answer. So this is the how do normal cells get transformed into the cancerous neoplastic cells. Elaborate giving three examples of the inducing agent. So general uh, we are uh, giving uh, or we are uh, telling the students this is the cancer and this one is the diagnostic area and this one is the condition. So here is the you can say this is the inducing agent or you can give the example of this ionizing radiation chemical carcinogen and the cellular oncogenes or the proto-oncogenes, these are the inducing agent which can uh, convert the normal cells into the cancerous neoplastic cells. And again, I told you in the starting, this is the person is suffering from the high grade fever. That is a condition based question. So this is the suffering from the high grade fever, which symptoms will help to identify if he or she is suffering from the typhoid, pneumonia or malaria. Hame students ko sari conditions ko patana hai ki typhoid ka conditions kya hoti hai, malaria ki conditions kya hoti hai aur un conditions ko chahe wo chicken gunya ho, dengue ho, unke causative agent, unke sare points hame usme hi clear karne aur unko patana hai ki kis type se practical based or application based or condition based question okay so uh, they can uh, help you in the english uh, this is a condition based question okay there is the next one is that is a recognition of an antigenic protein of the pathogen or the exposure to the pathogen occurrence during the many types of the immune responses. 
so now here is the active immunity or the passive immunity so you have to give the focus on this innate immunity and this passive immunity active immunity these are the topics you can focus them uh, uh, overall and this is a very important topic for the three marks question and uh, first one is the cancer question second one is the immunity based question or they can give the antibody stu structure of the antibody right can we have a ninth question please so uh, next question is that is the uh, from the biotechnology this is the pathological lab lab this is the series of the steps were undertaken for the finding the gene of interest and this is the describe the steps to make the flow chart the showing the process of the amplification of this gene of interest if you are giving the flow chart of the biotechnology definitely it will help to the students how to read the chapter of the biotechnology because it is a slightly uh, typical or the twisted chapter if you are giving because in the ncrt some topics are uh, given uh, here and there so you can uh, make the flow chart of this like you can give the uh, flow chart of the biotechnologies first of all the isolation of dna then the purification then uh, this is the amplification then after then you can give them the flow chart of this and after that they can solve very easily or they can learn the sequence of this chapter so according to this question you uh, you can uh, see this the flow chart of the amplification process here this is a process involved the pcr this is a polymerase chain reaction and here is the first denaturation annealing and the extension that is given by the complete process you can see this this diagram is very very important for the board examination and definitely they will give the question either they are giving the only the amplification or they can ask some question based on the annealing or the extension or the denaturation and you have to tell them the students how to take the primers of this uh, in the denature annealing process okay so can we have a next question on the screen please here is the question number 10 this is the evil quartets and this is the describe the rates of the species extension uh, due to the human activities explain how the population of the organism is affected by the fragmentation the habitat so in this question you can see there are the three questions three questions are given or they can give the question like this give the reasoning question and give the reasons or what happens when the, uh, they can give the question in the form of this or they can ask the you know, like uh, different statements are given and they can ask a simple one example that is based on the population interaction or this extinction or this uh, other uh, species based question so second part you can see this introduction of the alien species has led to the environmental damage and the decline of the indigenous species give any one example so you can easily give the example what uh, what are the species which can uh, led by the this uh, environmental damage and next question that is the c part could the extinction of the stellar sea cow and the passenger pigeon by uh, be saved by men and give reason to support your answer because this is the answer is given that is the human have the over exploited natural resources for their greed rather than the need leading to the extinction of these animals so how can we tell them the students how can they prepare these type of question three marks question but they are having the one one mark question like this so you have to force them or you have to guide them they have to read each and every line of ncrt book especially of the biodiversity chapter and the organism and the population question number 11 so here is the images are given that is shown below in the square proof and found in india explain how has the human involvement help in the preservation of the biodiversity rich regions and again this is the next question which is showing the regression coefficient and the species richness of this area this is the value of z is 0.7 for this area and 0.15 of the area b and which has area has a higher species of the richness and the steepest slope 
so overall uh, you can emphasize to this to emphasize on this chapter especially the biodiversity they can prepare the questions from this uh, ncrt back exercise or you can take some extra questions from other books or they will help you uh, definitely it will help you uh, in the biodiversity question that is totally based on the some case basis like uh, type question are given so we have to give them the other practice on this so can we have this uh, question number 12 on the screen so there is a image below the deficit that is a you know that this is a diagram of the gel electrophoresis then we if we are isolated the dna fragment and after that how can we purify this uh, dna fragment here is the one figure is being given and we can prepare the other question on this type of figure or uh, that is uh, so many question we can prepare on this if the letter represent sequence of the length up to the 3000 base pair which of the band 1 to 14 fourth correspond to the 2500 base pair or the 100 base pair respectively explain the basis of this kind of the separation and also mention the significance of this process so here is the first answer is given that is the band third you can see this there is a diagram and which chemical like this the ethidium bromide which shows the particular orange color in this but you have to give them the practice of this uh, some other uh, you can change the digits of this question and you can give the practice on this band third this is the correspond to the 2500 base pair and band four this is the correspond to the 100 base pair and answer b which is showing the kind of separation and also mention the significance of process the fragments will resolve according to their size the shorter sequence fragments would the move farthest where from the well as seen the band 4 which is lighter as compared to the band 3 which is the heavier being the 2500 base pair so significant is what this is the gel electrophoresis process it's simply the purify the dna fragment because we need a very small fragment which is used for the constructing the recombinant dna by joining them with the cloning factors and last section is section c which is having the totally the case based study question that can take by the uh, in the chapter uh, biotechnology or in the biodiversity so you have to give them the uh, practice or generally especially for the biotechnology because first question is like this one is uh, some restriction enzymes break the phosphodiester bond on the both the dna strands that only the one end of the each molecule to cut and these ends have the regions of the single stranded dna bam h1 is a one such restriction enzyme which binds of the recognition sequence of the 5 prime g g a t c c and 3 prime that cleaves the sequence just after five prime guanine of each strain so what is the objective of this section and explain how the gene of introduce gene interest is introduced into a vector you are given the dna shown below this so previously we were uh, giving them the practice of uh, case based study that is on the objective type or uh, the assertion and reasoning uh, question but this time we don't have any question that is based on the assertion and reasoning this time that case based study is also given on the subjective type it means we have to give the practice to the student for the how to write the student again my answer is same uh ncrt word by word is very important if they are totally go through this ncrt book they can easily give the answer of this question so section c is carrying the five marks they this uh, section is having this internal uh, choice question one is based on this uh, biotechnology and other question is also based on the biotechnology can we have a next uh, slide on the screen please so here is the answer that is a uh, near about this uh, five question that is based on this and one a question maybe this is the one or uh, second question is having the parts of this question which is carrying the two marks or the one mark so each question is carrying the one mark here is the fourth part is given uh, 
in this part one question which is carrying the parts of this question definitely this is carrying the this is two marks and next that is the gm crop uh, genetically modified crops especially the bt crops bt uh, cotton is very important topic bt crops are very important topic uh, topic that is uh, graph based questions are given to have the higher resistance to the pest attacks to subsidize this experimental study was conducted in four different farmlands growing in the bt and the non bt cotton crops this farmland this farmland had the some dimension fertility and were under the similar climatic condition histogram below shows the uses of the pesticides of the pesticides on the bt crop and the non bt crop crops of these farmlands you can see the histogram of this yeah so it means we can give them the practice of the some other question that is based on the histogram and that topic we can take from the genetically modified crops or the bt crops some bt crops we can choose this and some non bt crops that we can uh, give them the practice so can we uh, can we show next slide please so which of the above uh, four form lens has successfully applied the concept of the biotechnology show the better management practice the use of the agrochemicals if you had to cultivate which crop would you prefer bt cotton bt or the non bt and why this is the cotton ball worms were introduced in another experimental study on another above the farm lands where the no pesticide was used and uh, explain what effect would be a, a bt on the non bt crop have on the press so if the we are uh, checking the histogram graph do, so the form 1 and second show the better management use of the agrochemicals so you can see in this uh, diagram also bt crop is preferred to the cultivate because the use of the pesticide is highly reduced for the bt crop and decrease in the pesticide used to improve the soil fertility and hence the crop produce and here is the bt crop having the cry gene that has been introduced the bacterium bacillus thuringiensis which causes the synthesis of the toxin protein so you uh, this one is uh, explaining complete question that this protein becomes the very active in the alkaline gut of the ball worm larvae feeding on the cotton punching hole in the lining of causing the death of the insect however this non bt crop will no have no effect on the cotton ball worm and so the yield of the cotton will decrease on the other hand this is a non bt crop will scum on the pest or to the pest attack can we have a next slide on the screen please here is the five model test paper are given so lot of questions are given you can give them the practice of this or uh, they will definitely help to the students and you can prefer the score plus the complete book is there total uh, overall total things are given that is total question cbsc co sample paper is given more five model test paper is given and total book notes are given you can check the two marks question three marks question or this is the case based study so you can prefer the score plus and they it will definitely help you so jatin ji so if any query is there so you can send me the query Yes, ma'am. We can. Uh, we are open for see. queries. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. All the okay. participants can please uh, write you on the chat write. box if any queries. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Jitin ji. Now subscribe to Bright Duty course at rupees one per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of math, science, social science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three step approach that is learning assessment and exam preparation in learning topic wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions 
in assessment topic wise online mcq test practice assignments and chapter wise question bank are available with the solutions in exam preparation previous years question papers sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions sign up today on bright tutee and avail your courses at affordable prices